Today we are testing a used Gainsborough Trilock. This is a contemporary model of Trilock. There are many different versions of the Gainsborough Trilock available. For this model of Trilock, two 54mm holes have to be drilled in the door. The bottom hole houses the lock cylinder and latch bolt assembly. The top hole is for the handle and spindle mechanism. To assemble the latch bolt, first you have to insert the tubular sleeve which is secured to the lock body with two small screws. The latch bolt then slides into the main die cast body. The lock has large plates on each side of the door and are held in position with four screws. I think the plates would provide support to the door if it was forced. Gainsborough call this a tri-lock because it has three functions. The first function is, when unlocked, it acts as a passage set. The second function is, when you are on the inside, you can push the button to lock the outside handle. The third function is, when the key is turned, the lock deadlocks, throwing the bolt out further and locking the handles. One thing to be aware of of this lock, as every locksmith would know, is that the push button only locks the handles. It has no dead latch function in this mode. The door can often be opened from the outside with a piece of thin plastic to push the latch back. That's why you have to do a lot of editing. 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 When fitting this strike plate, I made a few mistakes. I fitted it over the top of a previously tested lock. I also drilled the hole in the frame deeper than it had to be, which could have weakened the frame. I also used large screws. Large screws can act like a wedge and can aid in splitting the timber, especially pine. Smaller screws are usually advised when installing a stroke plate. Remember, it is the door frame timber that is taking the force, not the screws. The strike is also fitted close to the edge of the frame. While this is quite normal to see on doors here in Brisbane, a strike set back into the frame a bit will give more strength. Let's put some force on our door and see how it performs. The door frame broke at 265 kilograms. It broke right along the screw line of the stroke plate. The lock is still in good working order and I think this lock can do better than this. So let's refit the strike again. The strike is fitted to a new door frame. We have made the door open into the frame a little extra. This allows us to set the strike plate back into the frame more and hopefully allow more force to be put on the door frame. 
We've made the latch hole a little less deeper and we are using smaller screws this time as well. Let's see how much force we can put on our door now. I have tried to test locks with the frame and door on a level plane, but this strike is quite large and puts it close to the edge of the frame. We do a lot more tests with locks and doors than you see in these videos. We test doors and door frame materials, the setback of strikes, the back set of locks, gaps in the doors and much more. Most of the videos you see we are testing the strength of the locks, so we will try to fit the locks we are testing to their best advantage. Our testing door might have a more solid door and frame, and it might have a smaller door frame gap than your door at home. Often this is a way to test the lock strength, not just the door frame. We want to know how a lock fails. Our door withstood a force of 340 kilograms. Interestingly, it was a latch bolt that broke. It snapped in half. Looking at the latch bolt, you can see that it is hollowed out and has a steel pin that goes up the center of the latch. I tested the outer latch and the steel pin. The outer latch was made from a soft metal. The inner pin was not hardened and could be cut easily. Thanks for watching.